Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we are going to be going over a couple of Nissan Frontiers. Now, the first one, well, actually the second one in the video, rather, is a Pro 4X with a boat behind it. Just quickly show you guys that. That'll be second in the video. The other one is a Frontier with the King Cab. I believe it's an SV, if memory serves me correct. You guys will see in the video. I've been holding this footage for like over a month because I haven't figured out what to do with it because it's such a short video. So I think the second channel is the best place for me to post this. So... Yeah, we'll just go over it quickly. It'll be a really short video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and let's just get right into it. So let's go over this Frontier King cab. And again, this is in the SV package. So you guys can see you've got the base headlights. You don't have the cool LEDs that you get with the Pro 4X. And then you've got the Frontier logo and then you've got the white Nissan logo there in the center portion. And then you guys can see the venting off to the side. It's not real, but it looks cool. You have tow hooks there on the front end. And I like how it's like angled on the front end. So it looks uh, kind of gr aggressive basically. And then you can see the more uh, baseline wheels. I still think they look good from an aesthetic perspective. Then you can see the front suspension here with the truck and then also the tread on the tires, more of like a street tire uh, compared to like, especially what you get the Pro 4X where that has more of like an off-road tire. And you see the full view here with the King Cab. Again, the King Cab is a smaller cab. So the Crew Cab is the bigger one. That's the one that most people are gonna get the King Cab. This is the smaller cab uh, that you can get with the truck. And it does have the suicide doors, which is always uh, interesting. Uh, they're kind of like going out. Like there's not that many vehicles that uh, have those anymore. Uh, usually they do it on smaller vehicles. Notice you do get nice soft touch padding though where you're gonna rest your arm you got like the regular window controls, mirror controls. Uh, and then also the seats, we've got the cloth seats here for the SV. They do have the power adjustments on them, which is definitely nice. Can't really see the pedals because they're covered up uh, with that floor mat, but we do have the regular like plastic pedals, all that kind of stuff. And then you've got stuff like the safety tech, the cargo lights, the outlets, all that stuff to turn it on. Uh, just pretty normal stuff you get in most of the frontiers and then you can see the steering wheel notice that you do have the white nissan logo again and then you have a little screen there in the center with the analog gauges and then touchscreen infotainment system as well and then yeah here is the back of the cab and i actually did get in so you guys can see just how cramped it is back here so i'm about six foot and yeah really don't fit back here you do get some outlets though which is nice but you can see like just not like my head was pretty much touching the top my knees were against the seat it's a pretty cramped area <laughs> to be in uh, but you know what as they say it is what it is uh, and then you can see here in the back same tire and wheel setup and then you've got the leaf springs in the rear spare tire underneath the truck in kind of like normal truck fashion 17 inch wheels 265 millimeter for the tires thank you ben hardy in the past for zooming in on that for us Again, with the white Nissan logo and the SV badge, all that stuff. You can see there's a bunch of stuff there on the rear. And the taillights actually look really good. So they did a good job with the design on the taillights. I definitely like those more than the headlights on this kind of more entry-level uh, package is the best way to put it. But we're going to pop from that quickly to the frontier that is towing the boat you guys remember i did the towing test uh but this is kind of like a model that nissan had just sitting there and it had a bunch of uh, arrows pointing to different things basically with the truck itself so you guys can see different points on it uh, and you can see the connection and everything there with the frontier i still think it's crazy that the boat's like almost six thousand pounds and the truck towed it notice that's the sound system you can get as an accessory with the truck that's in the bed it's like a uh, speaker for the bed which is pretty cool got the rails all the cargo tie downs all that fun stuff right there and uh, that's kind of what the, you can see the arrows are pointing to different uh things basically uh, but one of them is that cargo tie down and then the rear window with the truck also does open up and then also you have uh, lights in the back too they're kind of hidden but they exist and that's important uh, and again you guys saw all my reviews here on the pro 4x uh, which again this is my preferred package with the new frontier i just like the look of it and it's not crazy expensive either, especially compared to other trucks in the segment. And this is what most people are going to go for anyways, because it looks cool and it's capable off-road and it's, it's a fun truck. And I'm actually going to be getting one for a week pretty soon. Uh, so it'll, it'll be fun to uh, see what that truck does. Uh, I, we took it off-road during this event, but obviously taking it off-road with a... With a terrain that i prefer to do but anyways notice the tires are really aggressive and you can see the front uh, suspension everything here with the pro 4x and uh, notice it just kind of like sits a little bit higher compared to the sv and just every single angle on that truck it looks it's such a good looking truck especially for a mid-sized truck uh, but yeah that's kind of a little walk around on both of them